Tonight's video is a new section. It's section 5.4. Now instead of logarithmic expressions, now it's the exponential functions. We're actually going to start with integration this time instead of um, deriving them, derivations. So, I'm sorry, derivatives. Um, our homework for tonight is section 5.4 and is going to be 85 through 109 odd. So, here's some things we need to go through on exponential functions that we need to remember. So, for example, um, for the function y equals e to the x, if I take the first derivative, remember that's just e to the x. So, y equals um, e to the 3x, when I take its first derivative, it is the chain rule. So, it is the derivative of the outside, which is itself, times the derivative of the exponent, which would just be 3. And then I would rewrite that as 3 times e to the 3x. So something like this, y equals e to the negative 3x squared. So the first derivative would be, um, it would be the chain rule, so the derivative of itself times the derivative of the exponent. So that would be bring down the 2, negative 6x. We write that as negative 6x times e to the negative 3x squared. Here's something else to remember. What does e to the 2x mean? So remember when um, the bases are the same and it's multiplication, you add up the exponents. So e to the x times e to the x, well, x plus x is 2x. So e to the 2x means this. So let's look at something like this e to the 2x over x. That means e to the x times e to the x in the numerator over e to the x. I would cancel out one set, and so that would simplify to e to the x. Let's look at something like e to the 2x minus 1. How could I um, expand that? Well, e to the 2x times e to the negative 1 because when the bases are the same in its multiplication, you add up their exponents, right? Doesn't this equal this? Now let's, let's expand this one. That is like e to the x times e to the x over e to the first power. Let's look at something else. e to the negative 2 minus e to the 0 power. That's 1 over e squared, right? And then e to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is 1. Yes, typo, supposed to be 1. And what if I wanted to give it a common denominator, which would be e squared? That would be 1 minus e squared over e squared. I could go on and on with the little idiosyncrasies of, of what to remember with exponentials. How about I try another approach, and I actually do a couple of the even problems since your homework is supposed to be the odd ones. So here is my first even problem within your homework. It'll be problem number 90. So I'm supposed to do some integration. Um, I'm going to integrate e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x dx. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some u substitution. I'm going to let u equal the whole entire denominator. 1 plus e to the 2x. And within this, I like to get rid of that. I need to get rid of everything with an x. Let's see what happens. When I take the derivative, well, that just goes to 0. When I take the derivative of e to the 2x, it's e to the 2x times the derivative of um, the exponent. That's the chain rule, times 2 dx. Let me rewrite that. And so here's my e to the 2x. This will be u. I don't need that 2, though, so it's 1 half du equals e to the 2x times dx. So this part here, which is here, will substitute for 1 half du. 1 half, put my du, so it's 1 over u. Well, we know from section 5.2 that when we integrate 1 over u, that's really the natural log. And again, this is an indefinite um, integral, not a definite, so I have to put my, um, my plus c. 
Now I need to go ahead and resubstitute in my U. I'm going to be done with that problem. So let's try another problem. Let's try number 94. So that 2 is in the numerator. So it's 2 times e to the x minus 2 times e to the negative x all over e to the x plus e to the negative x quantity squared. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let's let our u substitution be our denominator. That just seems to be a common practice. I mean, I don't know where to start. Let's just start here. Now let's go ahead and let's take the derivative. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x plus the derivative of e to the negative x is itself times, here comes my chain rule, the derivative of the exponent that would be negative 1. So let me rewrite that. Oops, dx. du equals e to the x minus e to the negative x dx. Ah, that's actually what I need. I can factor out a 2 out of the numerator. So this here is this, which can be replaced with du. And this is my 1 over u. So here comes my natural log again. Resubstitute this back in. Oopsie, oopsie, typo, me. Look what I forgot to do. Square, 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 not natural log. Oopsie. Let's try that again. So I took 1 over u squared to u to the negative 2. Now let's go ahead and integrate. This is where I increase the power by 1. Increase it by 1 and divide by that same power plus c. That would be negative 2 over u plus c. I'm still at school. Now I'm going to substitute in that u. Where is it at? There it is. e to the x plus e to the negative x plus c. And I am done. Let's try us another one. Let's try 98. So I'm going to integrate natural log of e to the 2x minus 1. Hmm. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, do I do this? But I, I don't I don't know how to integrate that. I don't I don't have anything for that. Hmm. So I guess that's not what I'm gonna do. So what else could I do? Oh, what if I rewrote that? Let's see, what is that? That's e to the two x times e to the negative one. That's e to the 2x over e, right? And then I could use the product rule. Well, 
like so. Hmm. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to think the definition of a logarithm. Um, let's see, how does it go again? Um, e to the x equals y is the same thing as the natural log of e of y equals x. So this is what I see. So e to what power equals y? e to what power equals this stuff? e to what power equals this stuff? Because the power is my answer, right? I'm thinking exponentially. I don't think logarithms. I think exponentially. So e to the x equals y. e to the x equals y. e to what equals e to the 2x? Well, I guess that's just 2x. I'm going to give each one its own integration. Same thing here. e to what power equals e to the first power? e to what power equals e to the first power? 1. Well, okay, so that's just this, which is, let's see, I increase the power, divide by that. That's um, increase the power, it's at x to the 0, so now it's x to the 1. And now I'm going to clean that up. Wow, strange problem. I have one more for us this evening. We have 104. This one is a um, it's a definite integral. It has an upper and a lower bound. So this is x times e to the negative x squared over 2. So I'm going to let my u substitution be this. Let's see, what is that again? That's negative, let's see, that's really one half x squared, right? Isn't that what that really says? Negative, and that's x squared over two. Negative, yep, that's what that is. So let's take the derivative. What would that be? Negative one half, bring down the two, reduce the power dx. Negative x dx, oh, I do need that x gone. I don't need that negative. So x dx, that's this and this, can be replaced with a negative du. Okay, let me do that. And then um, this is already e to the u. Wow, now I'm going to go ahead and integrate that. When I integrate e to the u, it is just e to the u. Square root of 2 to 0. Oh, except I've got to do the u substitution first. got to substitute it back in negative one-half x squared, square root of two to zero. So let's, let's put in the square root of two first. So negative e to the negative one-half, square root of two squared, minus a negative e to the negative one-half, zero squared. Okay, okay, let's see what this looks like. Let's see. Well, square root of two squared is a two. So 2 over 2. And 0 times anything is just 0. And negative times negative is positive, right? We know this is now just a 1. Well, that's just negative e to the negative 1 power, power plus 1. So that's negative 1 over e plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite that. It's 1 minus 1 over e. And if they wanted me to have a common denominator, it would be e minus 1 over e. Well, those are correct. Thank you.